friends, it's me, Mrs. Mertz. Today we're gonna be drawing a raccoon. Very exciting. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna start right in here. And we're gonna draw two triangles. And they're gonna be kind of long and short. And I'm sure you math whizzes out there know the name of that triangle. I do not. Then we're gonna draw a little line in the triangle. And these are gonna be the raccoon's ears. Then we're gonna draw a line up here. So that's gonna be the top of his head. And then we're gonna go right down here. We're gonna go find the middle, come down like so. And we're gonna put a little dot there. And then we're gonna continue this line over here. We're gonna come around and down like that. So it's kind of like kind of like a letter C. And then we're gonna do the opposite over here. So we're gonna find where that starts. And we're just gonna come around like so. So he's got big fat cheeks. All right, then we're gonna come back to the middle here and we're gonna come down like so and around and then down and around okay because the raccoon looks like he's wearing a mask all right so then I'm gonna put a big raccoon eye here and a big raccoon eye here and then I want my raccoon to look like his eyes are shining. So I'm gonna leave a little white spot there. There we go. I think I missed a spot there. All right, so now I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna draw his little raccoon nose. So I'm just gonna start, there we go. And then I'm gonna make like two lines coming down out like that. Then I'm going to go like so. All right, so kind of like some letter C's, but don't let them touch here yet. All right, then I'm going to go around the eye and down. Go around the eye and down. And there's his face. Nice work, artist. Okay, so I'm gonna put some whiskers on him because I love whiskers. I think they're so fun. All right, now we're gonna draw the raccoon body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna draw a great big line around here because raccoons have kind of big bodies. Okay, so I'm just gonna be really brave and just go all the way back down. All right, that was scary, but you did it. Good job. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a little line over here, kind of where his nose is. And then I'm gonna come here and make a letter V and the V is gonna come like up higher And then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make another letter V. And those are his little front, front feet. And then I'm gonna make some V claws here. And those are his little claws. Then I'm gonna continue. Okay, so now I've continued this back a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make his back leg come down like this. And then I'm gonna make a great big leg there. Then I'm gonna make his big tail, his striped tail. So I made like kind of a hook 
and you can make tails go all sorts of ways. Now, raccoons have big bushy tails. All right, so then I'm gonna put some detail on. fill this in, skip, fill this in, okay, there's his tail. Then um, I'm gonna come back here to the nose. Now I want his nose to have kind of a light spot on it, so I'm putting a little little spot so I know leave that alone, Mrs. Mertz. There we go. And uh, let's see. I wanna have some suggestions of hair because raccoons have really coarse, thick hair. Okay, and then where's my raccoon gonna be? Well, let's make, let's make a horizon line. Skip, come over here. And um, maybe this guy's like living out in the woods. So I think I'll make like some little rocks here. Maybe some blades of grass some suggestions. Okay. And uh, maybe this is the sky and this is the ground and he's just out moseying around. Okay, so I'm gonna color this now and it will be awesome. Okay, thanks art friends. Thanks for following along. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to um, Middle School Art Mania.